Welcome once again to an episode of Ask the Techies. I'm D. Lee Beard, answering more viewer questions for Ask the Techies. Remember, you can send your questions to us at questions at askthetechies.com. First question today is uh, someone that writes, I have bought a Mac uh, from a friend a couple of weeks ago, but I want to delete all of the history of sites that he has visited. Can you explain that to me? And absolutely. Um, first of all, before we do that, you might want to consider something a little bit different, and that is maybe creating a whole new user on that Mac and not using his user at all. And if you go to the Apple menu and you go to System Preferences, by the way, Macs can have multiple users on there with their own desktop pictures, startup applications, things like that for each person. So if multiple people are using your Mac, this might be kind of helpful for you to know anyway. But if you go to the accounts in the System Preferences, there's a, and here's a list of accounts that are in here. And if you want to add one, what you want to do is create your own. You might have to click on here and enter the, you know, the password. And then you can create your own just by clicking the plus button. And uh, I'm just going to create a dummy account. Mm -hmm. And uh, password, uh, and then click uh, create account. And it's going to create a new account for me. And then what I can do is I can log out, log out of this user, and then I would log back in as the dummy account. <laughs> and uh, then I would could come back in later and delete the old account and just keep the one that I do have. And that way, all the other previous history or anything else, any special screensavers that person downloaded, I won't get. I'll just start off like a brand new fresh account, brand new fresh Mac, everything. Now, if you don't want that and you do just want to uh, keep you just want to deal with the browser issue, I'll show you how. First of all, let me go ahead and delete that dummy account. Just, I'm going to click on that and hit the minus button to delete one and say, no, I don't want to save it. Delete the home folder. <laughs> there we go. And uh, close out. All right. Now, what was I getting to? Oh, yeah. How to cle clear history. So when you launch your browser, one of the things you can do is under Tools menu, you can do Clear Private Data. And when you do that, Firefox gives you an option to do different things. Browsing history, your cache, cookies. Cookies are those little files that are saved on your computer's hard drive, which makes it a little bit easier for you to, for it to remember where you've been so that when you go back to a site, it remembers certain things about you, which is always kind of nice. Um, and so you can click that button to clear private data now. That should clear out his history and a lot of other content that he put in there. So it's something that you can do. One thing I should point out for security reasons, is in Firefox under preferences there is a feature over here under security called use a master password I recommend doing this if you walk away from your computer or, or someone can get access to your computer if they steal your computer and they are able to get it started up and they launch your web browser suddenly they've got access to a lot of your passwords because if it, you tell Firefox to remember my password for my webmail and it automatically remember that information then the problem you run into is then they suddenly they get access to your mail, they can change your password, they can start sending out emails as if they were you and they aren't. So by setting a master password, it means when they launch the browser, it won't automatically remember that. They'll have to enter the master password to get access to that. Okay? So the master password, once that is enabled, when you launch your browser, and you go to one of the sites like Webmail, it's going to first ask you for the master password, and then it'll enter everything else in for you, and you just hit OK. And you only have to do that once a session, because then as you launch a different uh, Windows to go to different sites that it remembers your password for, you won't have to enter the master password again. It's only once per session. So when you quit out of Firefox, and then you launch it again, then you will have to re-enter the password. So this gives you a little bit of added security in that someone can't accidentally, oops, not accidentally, someone can't maliciously grab, get a hold of your computer and start uh, screwing around with things, okay? Gives you a little layer of protection um, by adding a password to the browser, okay? So I, I encourage you to do that, really strongly do encourage that. Now if you use a different browser like Safari, which is another one that's for Windows and Mac as well, you'll find uh, some settings for that under the Safari menu. And you'll see a thing for private browsing and reset Safari. So when you reset Safari, you get a similar list of options here. Empty the cache, that's the little files that it saves on the hard drive to make web pages load faster, so it clears out all of that information as well as your history. So you just click on reset and it'll clear out everything. That's what you would do. I'm going to click cancel. Also, one other thing in Safari I should point out is there's a thing called private browsing. When you do private browsing, 
what it'll do is it won't keep any of this information in history. It's not going to save any of the stuff from what you're doing browsing on the hard drive. The advantage to that is if you're in a public environment using a public computer, uh, then it may remember some of where you've been. And you may not want other people to be able to see that, to walk up to the computer after you walk away and see where you've been. You just never know. It's a good idea, and it won't save anything like passwords, uh, autofill forms, so someone can't learn your address and stalk you, things like that. So that would be a good idea to turn on private browsing. Or let's just say it's around somebody's special birthday, and you're on their computer, and you want to search for a gift for them real quick. And you want to make it a private session so that they can't track what you're doing. I come back later and say, oh, wait a minute, what was he doing at Amazon.com wedding rings? Hmm. So that would be a, a way for you to make your little browsing session private without having to have a whole different user.